Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Yacht World, and we're here with Wellcraft in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, aboard their new 355. We're going to invite you on board so you can see how different the new Wellcraft is from bow to stern. The hull was done by Michael Peters Yacht Design, and it's a very different type of deep V-hull construction. There's no steps on this bottom, so it performs very differently because it has an inverted bow. And we'll talk more about the ride of it later, but you'll see here the total redesign of what was a race boat or a center console fishing boat to a real what they call commuter boat. And they call it a commuter because it can handle so many people, but it's very flexible in how you want to use the boat. You'll see here in the bow, we are equipped with three big sun pads, which can become two when the center seat is flipped up with armrests and drink holders and the bench seating here at the bow also. The teak flooring is an option, so this is an upgrade for this boat. You'll see there's nice handy grab rails all around the boat, and with the deep freeboard that it has, you feel very safe and secure in this boat. There's another feature in the construction of this boat that they call infujection. And the whole hull is constructed as one. So you have the mold that is painted with gel coat, a fabric lining, and a foam structure, and then there's resin infusion. So it makes the hull very stiff, very strong, and yet lighter. You'll see that there's a light bar that's also an option. This T-top is very strong. It's got a rail construction, so if you want to bring kayaks or other water toys, you've got room for those. And you've got your Garmin radar as well. We're going to move back into the salon, which shows another very interesting feature, this sliding open door. Let's go there next. So a lot of boats have a side door. But this one is so broad that it gives the pilot access to the helm and it also gives passengers access to the spacious salon. This boat is very beamy, it's almost 11 foot, so you have a lot of room to move around. This helm is really nicely designed with two 16 inch Garmin screens, you've got a leather steering wheel, a very nice helm set up with your toggle switches and you've got the Mercury controls as well as your joystick and your bow thrusters. So the boat is very easy to operate. And again, because of the hull design and the construction, it makes the ride very smooth, even in some choppy water as we saw earlier today. These leather seats have kind of a racing feel, automotive upholstery with the push down bolster seats. And it's got footrests as well and access to the cabin right here from a sliding door. It's got a full, almost a queen size bed and a large head that has a separate shower. So it's really a very convenient overnighter as well as a great place to rest or to just get you know, out of the heat or out of the, the sun. It's got such versatility because of all of the different features that are in it that you can use it as a weekender, you can use it as an overnighter or you can use it as a day boat or even as a fishing boat, should you choose. We're gonna go explore a few of the other areas in the entertainment space behind us. Let's go there next. So as we enter the salon from the side door, you see you can exit from the back door. This very wide open feeling in the salon with these open windows and the retractable shades that are here on all the skylights really bring the outside in. This window opens manually, as does the door, and you really get the feel of being outside, even though you're inside where it's climate protected. This dining table opens up, so it becomes a full-size table, or it can retract with cushions and become another berth, so you virtually can sleep four people here easily. This area is also perfect for entertaining because you've got your galley here to port with a Force 10 cooktop, refrigerator, sink, trash, and plenty of storage. There's storage under the floor here, storage under all the seating, so you can really bring a lot of things on board this boat. This seating is modular, so you can move that around as well. 
We're going to move back to the aft deck next. Let's go. Back here on the aft deck, you see some of the versatility of this boat. First of all, you have a huge area, which if you choose to use this as a fishing boat, you can replace these fender or dive tank holders with a section that has a sink and a cutting board, so you could make this more of a live well area if you wanted to fish with a rod holder up on the T-top. Or you could have a fold-down seat that could add some more room for passengers. Right now, this has a huge storage area beneath the deck here, and this boat has a generator, or you could have a stabilizer with an inverter. You've also got storage boxes here that could be fish coolers, or they could be coolers for beverages and food. Another nice aspect of this deck is dual doors, both at port and starboard, so you can either haul in a big fish or make it really easy for your passengers to come on board from the dock. You've got lots of storage here under the window area, both deep storage where you could put soft coolers or condiments, and the other side is drawers. So you've really got lots of versatility back here in the deck. And of course, we're sitting out here on the skyhook with these Mercury 350s just raring to go. This boat can do nearly 60 mile an hour top speed and can cruise easily under that, again, because of the weight and the stability of the hull. You've got kind of a wraparound um, swim platform here with a retractable ladder off of the port side. And there are two ladders for both of the doors where they can hook into uh, the holes in the deck on either side. And those are stored under here as well as the poles for the extra sunshade that can go from these holders here on the aft deck or from the bow and attached to the T-top. So you have extra sun protection wherever you need it. So you can see that the Wellcraft 355 is a total new concept for the brand. It was built for the adrenaline seeker, the adventurer who wants performance in a boat, as well as a broad range of activities. Think of it like your Jeep, or your motorcycle, or your SUV. The Wellcraft 355. You can own the offshore. Thanks for joining us on Yacht World. We'll see you again soon.